Today we're looking at the CAM KWM1940HHV2. Uh, this is the box it comes in. Let's open this up and we can show you exactly what you get. Okay. First thing we have is the receiver. This is a very nice metal finish on this. Then got our instruction manual. I said it's a twin set so it comes with two very nice handheld microphones got a slightly rubberized feel which helps you grip it you've got your on and off switch there uh, you've got your power supply it's a standard DC power input uh, the unit comes with a standard 6.35 millimeter jack lead uh, for connecting to your mixer and also we have two sets of batteries one for each mic okay so let's have a look at the front panel of the unit on the left hand side we've got the power on off switch there um, we've also got individual volume controls for channel a and channel b so they can be adjusted there um, got the indicator lights, uh, yellow one showing the audio frequency and the green one showing the radio frequency. Okay, uh, two buttons at the front here. Uh, the top one is to adjust the uh, channel. As I said, this is a 16 channel microphone. Um, and the bottom one is the infrared button, um, which links up with the microphone, which we will have a look at in a minute. Okay, so let's turn the unit round and we'll have a look at the back. Uh, first thing you'll notice, you've got the two radio antennas there. Uh, they are fixed into the unit, but they are fully adjustable. Um, you can either have them pointing upwards there, or for example, if, you, if, if you've got the unit in a rack mount and you've got limited space, they can be angled backwards there. Okay, so on the left-hand side, we have the twin balanced XLR outputs uh, for channel A and channel B. Um, we've also got a mixed output, which you can connect to your mixer with the jack here. Um, if you've only got one um, channel on your mixer, for example, you can send a mix of both left and right channels through one jack there. And on the left hand side, we've just got your power input. Okay, so let's have a look at one of the handheld microphones. It's a very nice compact unit. Um, the uh, bottom of the microphone has a slightly different color from channel A and channel B, just so you can tell which one is which. Uh, the front's got a very simple on and off switch um, with an LED display. If you turn it around and look at the back, uh, the battery compartment just opens up there. Uh, this microphone takes two AA batteries, which just slot in the back there. Um, you've also got an infrared panel at the bottom there, um, which is just for linking up with the receiver. I'll show you how that's done in a minute. Okay, so let's just power the unit up. You'll see the front display comes on and that will show you which channel is being used for which microphone. Um, as I said, this unit has 16 channels which can be used. Uh, the reason you may want to switch channels is if there are other radio users in the area or perhaps somebody else using a similar microphone and you're getting interference, uh, you can simply switch this unit to operate on a different channel uh, and that should uh, alleviate the problem. Okay, so I'm now going to show you uh, how to synchronize the microphone with the receiver. Uh, as you can see, channel A is currently showing on channel number five. Um, let's just say, for example, we're experiencing some problems and getting some interference. Um, first thing you need to do is make sure that the microphone is switched off. Uh, we then hold down the up button until the display starts to flash. Um, we're gonna move to channel seven, so if you just press the button twice, until number seven shows. Um, that'll carry on flashing for approximately three seconds. Okay, once that's stopped, we're then ready to sync with the microphone. Uh, so you need to turn the microphone on and take the battery panel off the back there. Here, as I said before, you've got the infrared panel at the bottom there. Uh, simply point that to the infrared panel at the front of the receiver and then hold down the IR button until the IR light comes on. Okay, that should now be synced. Also available as an additional add-on for this system is the body pack kit. Uh, that comes complete with a headset microphone, um, which would be particularly useful for aerobics. 
Um, it also comes with an instrument lead, so if you're a guitar player you can, can connect uh, wirelessly to your guitar, and also a Thai microphone, uh, which could be useful for videoing and conferencing. Okay, so that is the KWM 1940HHV2 16-channel UHF wireless microphone system from CAM.